السلام علیکم السلام علیکم once dear relative has died and now she waits for the person to come in her dreams and advise her on every matter for example the rukya water has spilt read read once she saw her relative telling her in her dream so she calls people to read the quran for the dead what are your comments on this so the question about reading the quran for the dead mm. yes is the question and, on reading and, the quran and, and the person dead person coming in the dreams If you see a person who passed away in your dream, just make dua for him. You pray for him or for her, and ask Allah Subhanahu wa Taala to shower maghfirah and forgiveness and mercy on him, and that's it. But uh, if you are asking me about reading a Quran for the dead person, and I think, do you have this bid'ah in your country? Yes. yes. That you read the Quran and then you say, Oh Allah. take the reward or the thawab of this to the so and so this is a bid'ah okay the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam never did that neither any nor any of his sahaba neither the prophet nor any of his sahaba and imam shafi'i rahimahullah said that the dead person will never benefit from that so this is a bid'ah And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Ida mat ibn Adam, when a person died, in qata'a amalu illa min thalath. All his deeds will cease, will stop, except from three things. Three things will also, the benefit will reach him after his death. Walad salih yad'u lahu, a righteous child prays for him. Sadaqa jariya, perpetual charity sadaqa, like building a mosque. or school or orphanage or water well whatever sadaqa jariya aw ilm yuntafa' bihi or beneficial knowledge that he imparted that's it how much can one depend on uh, dream on dreams we don't depend in, on dreams at all and our life should not be run by dreams okay yes, and the dreams are two types either from the shaitan the bad dreams are from the shaitan and when you see a bad dream in your sleep you spit in your left and you don't tell it to anyone and if you see a good dream then you narrate it to someone who can interpret it for you and you inform those whom you love so the good dreams only signs from allah azza wa jal so you should fear allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and carry on doing good deeds but you should not run your life by the dreams for instance i don't have you have this or not some people when they pray istikhara you know istikhara prayer they wait for a dream right and then he tells you akhi i have i have prayed but i haven't seen anything so who told you that you are going to see something who told you that did prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam say you are going to see something no you pray the istikhara and you proceed immediately and what happens that what allah chose for you so you don't wait for a dream or you don't wait for feelings i prayed istikhara but i didn't have i didn't get any feelings who told you that you'll have feelings these are wrong misunderstanding and misconceptions